Hello, welcome back. This is Kench 1913 and we are Let's Playing Dragon Quest V for the Android and iOS. In the last episode, we made it to Roundbeck. We gave Bianca's dad some medicine. We learned about these two son of a bitch bullies who are bullying an animal, a kitty cat, and they want us to go to the Upton Towers and defeat some ghosts. So that's what we're gonna do. But the only way to get out of the town is to go at night. So what we need to do is head north to the inn and uh, make it night. Make it rain. Make it night. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, we're pretty much going to do that any moment. There we go. Alright, so we're going to get going here. And here we go. So what we need to do, I, if I recall correctly, is go up in our room, maybe? No, 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 no. We gotta go. I missed one guy over here. Mr. Merchant. Yeah, and Count up, up, Upatanian? Upatanian? Is that how you say it? Yeah, there's no silver here. Now, that is something I have to make sure to keep in mind to look for. Is the goddamn tea set. Which I eventually will get, but if I only get part of it now and part of it later, what are you going to do? Anyways, uh, I guess we're going to get going. Let's give this to Bianca, who already has equipped it. She has a parrying knife and a pot lid for a shield. Which, honestly, if you're a kid, those are per that's perfect stuff. I remember I used to play, I used to have a stick. And a pillow. That was my shield back in the day. And I'd wear a football helmet and pretend I was a warrior. Alright, so we're going home. We're not going to be able to save the kitty. Yeah, we should at least stay one night. Alright, so we're going to go... We're going to stay the night. Which is good, because now Bianca can wake me up and we can go and bust some ghosts. And look at that, they're letting us stay in the luxury suite with the with the carpet and everything. Yeah, I guess. They'll be wondering where we went to. Alright. And look at that, dad tucks us in. How nice. What a goddamn great dad. Like I said, one of the best dads in video games. Oh, it's Bianca. She's waking me up in the middle of the night. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta go get those ghosts of what for. Yeah, so if we head north, we'll find this place. No, I'm not sleepy. Anyways, let's, uh, let's talk to my pop. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we don't want to wake him up. This kind of reminds me of, like, when we try to sneak out of the room with Eris. You remember? And we had to do it real slow. Alright, so now we can we can escape. It's very, very quiet, huh? In the still night. In the middle of the night. I go walking in my sleep. Do 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 do. Oh, the river so deep in the middle of the night. Yeah, this is pretty exciting. Hopefully, the guard will be asleep. So I think they did something new in this game than they did in the other game. I think they let both of these shops be open at night. I don't think the weapon shop was open at at night in the original game but now it is so we can purchase gear at night we can also purchase um we can also purchase wet uh defense at night uh defensive gear armor the only thing we cannot purchase is the headband for bianca which is 150 gold that's the only thing you have to wait until morning to do but that that's not too bad yeah, so let's just sell some of our excess equipment. And that's pretty much it. So right now we got a stick. 
I'm going to buy this boomerang because that's going to be nice. And Bianca with the whip. So the boomerang, what it does is it hits all enemies. And the whip hits a group of enemies, which is good. And if we come over here, we're going to eventually purchase the leather armor, leather dress, scale shield, hardwood helmet, or headgear. And yeah, as you can see, the guard fell asleep. Let's actually walk around a little bit, see what else what else is going on. And apparently they keep the door locked. The cat must be inside. Yeah, apparently it's locked on both sides. So let's head in here. Hey, look, everybody's in here drinking. <laughs> this old man. He's very funny. So, yeah, well, maybe one day we'll figure it out. Alright, now it's time to explore the great outdoors at night. I believe this game turns day to night, but not, obviously not right now, as you can see. So, we're outside at night. We gotta fight fat rats and bunny corn. So, as you can see, Bianca is on level 1. So she really has no spells at all. She has no MP. She's not very good. All she has is a parrying knife. I literally use that knife to cut potatoes. This is unbelievable. I also cut onions with it. Anyways, so what we're going to end up having to do is I'm gonna have to walk around a little bit and get into some battles and uh, we'll fight some monsters and here we got some combat pillars but yeah um, she has no magic so she's not good right now she will learn some attack magic I think Bianca focuses more on the fire magic if I'm not mistaken But yeah, as you can see, this is pretty painful. So what I am going to do is I'm going to probably stop the, or, you know, off screen, I'm going to level up and uh, catch or, or buy all that equipment I need. Let's hope she gets some HP and MP. Oh, look at that. We learned heal. Very good. Hopefully she learns a spell. Not a damn thing. Yeah, we've been traveling for a long time. Yeah, well, you know, it's 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 all kinds of fun. All right, so there we go. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly uh, be right back. I'm gonna cut the video here, and then I'll be back off screen. We'll pur I'll purchase all that gear, and I'll meet you at night and. Uh, I'll show you how to, like, if you go to sleep, what'll happen when you gotta like, do this all over again. Alright, I am back. I have leveled up considerably and also purchased the gear that I was going to buy. And it's at night, so, and I made sure not to talk to anybody, so, so we can actually see what's going on. This took me a couple nights, or a couple times, just because, you know, Bianca's got to get magic. So, yeah, he's on level 8. He's got the boomerang, leather armor, scale shield, hardwood helmet. He's got heal and po antidote or squelch and whoosh, which is a, like inferno or so whatever. And Bianca's on level 9. She's got thornwood, leather dress, scale shield. I have not bought her the headband yet. And as you can see, she frizz, dazzle, sap, and fizz. Or frizz or whatever. It's a fire-based spell. So... We, the one thing we can't buy is the headband. So I'm going to do that in the morning. But in order to have morning happen, you can always just come in here. And pretty much Bianca will be like, well, that's it for today, tonight. We'll work on it. We'll work on it tomorrow night. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, wait a minute. To we're definitely leaving the next morning. Pancrantz is going to be like, yeah, we got to get going. So what's, what, what's the deal? And look at that. 
Apparently, Pankrenses, Pankrats, Pank, whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I might just call him Papas. Anyways, apparently he caught a cold. He caught Whitey's cold, so that's why we actually can't leave. So I'm, we're stuck here until we, yeah. Yeah, we'll both have to stay until he feels better. I have no problem with that. Especially since I want to catch that ghost. Let's talk to Whitey. So he doesn't want us hanging around either. So what we can do is finish any business we need to do in the morning. Like come over here and talk to this guy. Buy ourselves the hairband for Bianca. And there we go. We can also purchase musk. I don't have enough money. And what that does is it attracts enemies to you. I actually think it could be used in battle as well later on for another re for another purpose. Although I could be wrong. So to get it to be night again, you just gotta talk to Bianca, and she'll come and she'll get you at night, which is very cool. So once again we get some deja vu and now we're going to head north and this time we are fully prepared to go there. Let's give Bianca our hairband. And we equipped it. So now we can head on out. We're ready to really rock and roll and kick some monsters asses. And, I don't know, exercise the demons or the ghosts or whatever? I'm, I'm not sure what we're going to do exactly. But we got to bust them. Alright, so here's where I pretty much explored while we were going. I walked towards uh, Wheelbrook a little bit and uh, fought some really tough monsters that way. They gave you the most experience of gold, but... If you don't have some spells with Bianca and the hero, it can be pretty tough. Alright, so we got hammer hoods we've already fought, but I might as well show off how these items or weapons work. They work great. I honestly love the fact that, uh... I don't look jail cats, but I'm just gonna show off weapons again. But I love the fact that we're now, our levels are now uh, more than our ages, which I think is kind of hilarious. As Kenshin is six and Bianca's eight, and he's eight and she's nine. I think it's kind of funny. So welcome to Upatan Towers. Yeah, we need to save that poor cat, and if that means getting rid of the ghosts here, that's what we need to do. So let's just start exploring, which honestly seems like a perfect kid adventure if you think about it. Exploring like this supposedly scary place, spooky and haunted. It sounds like right up a kid, right up a kid's alley. So here's the front door with a lot of tombstones or graves. Yeah, maybe there's another way we can get in. There we go. Medicinal herb right there. And a chimera wing, very nice. Those can be used to warp back to the last spot you saved it. Right. right now, we don't have the ability to warp around all over the place. Anyways, let's climb up this ladder and come over here. Can we go in this door? No, what the hell? Yeah, I guess this castle really is falling to bits. Although, if it is falling to bits, you'd figure that, uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, you, oh, uh-oh, this is very scary. 
But yeah, you'd figure if this place was falling, the bits would be able to get the hell out, or the doors would be open, you know? Now what we can do here is look in all these things. I don't think there is anything in them, but let's just double check. I mean, I don't have my wooden stick, so if there is a Dracula in here, I can't get rid of him. Skeleton ghosts. I just looked in those things. Oh god, we're cursed. Where's Bianca? And yeah, now you don't have to take the cover off. What the hell? Where's Bianca? Oh god. Oh, interesting. Whoa. Oh, this statue's w one following us. That's weird. What the hell is that? It says something like being Kenjin's grave. But Kenji can't read it very well. Make like, sure. Oh boy. Oh shit. Yeah, let's push it. Hey, Bianca, what the hell happened? I tried to. All right, so there you go. We saved Bianca. Yeah, this place is very scary. And haunted, too. This statue is very weird. I see you. Whoa. Stone the crows. I don't even know what that means. Yeah, one thing you really want to do against this guy, which I didn't do because I figured uh, I was going to save MP, but totally cast the sap on this guy. Bianca should have that spell. If she doesn't, then you just got to do this. But if you have sap, cast it. I just figured I wanted to save my, um, my MP for the boss. And there we go. He's not too difficult, I guess. And we do get a seed defense or resilience. Which is very good. Alright, I don't think any of the other statues will do anything. So, let's go upstairs. Now, this is where we came out. Can we go back up over here, or is this still locked? God damn it. Yeah, you gotta find some stuff here. Which I might not be able to do right now, but I can always come back later. So I'm not too worried. Oh, there's the door. Hmm. The library. There's a ghost of a lady. Hmm. I guess there's no interesting books here. Now, you can be attacked in this place by monsters 
It just doesn't happen as often as you would consider being a haunted castle. Look at that, there's a secret passage. Yeah, we should probably go down those stairs since there really is nothing else to do. Oh shit, crows. Dark wings, dark words. Alright, let's go up here first. Oh, look at that, we get a silver tea tray. And no, that isn't a, a shield. Another hand woven cape. Now, I can't tell if this person is French or is uh, German or something. The world. Count up and I think these anger the monsters and me them. Yeah, I don't know what accent this is. If someone has any idea, please let me know. Yeah, so they pretty much want us to get rid of the ghosts because back in the day they were collecting kids or something. These two people didn't have any kids, so that angered all the peop all the monsters. And they pretty much killed them all. And that really sucks, huh? Is there anything in here? No. But yeah, so we gotta stop those monsters. And you can see the chandelier fell here. And if we go downstairs... It's really, really dark. Holy shit! Holy god, look at these scary ghost guys. Oh boy. I am going to stay up here and hide forever. No, I'm not. But I am going to end the episode here. In the next episode, we'll look for the boss in this castle and tell them to let these ghosts rest. This has been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.